Wow, now that was an intro video. Hello once again everyone and let me welcome you all to the first ever OBA Gaming Awards. I'm John as you all know and I'll be your host for this event. Now, last year I simply did a video just revealing my game of the year. However, I decided that this year I would mix it up a bit and go crazy. So I got the idea of doing my very own Game Awards show. Even though this isn't a show you can actually watch, you can only listen, so it's basically like a radio game award show, I guess. <laughs> anyway, unlike last year, where I only gave out one award, which was my personal pick for Game of the Year for 2013, this time I will be giving out many awards. In fact, I will be giving out a whopping 17 awards. Now, while you might think that's crazy, I should warn you that not all of these awards are good awards. Some of these awards you definitely don't want to win. Uh, but anyway, also one other thing about this award show is that there is no stupid celebrities talking about COD or shit like that. So without further ado, let's begin the first ever OBA Gaming Awards. Our first award is for Third Party Game of the Year. Third Party Game of the Year. And the winner is... Bayonetta 2! Congratulations, Bayonetta 2 and Platinum Games. You certainly deserve it. But let's not stop the show. Let's keep rolling with our next award, which is Indie Game of the Year. Best Indie Game of the Year. And the winner is... Shovel Knight! Yes, yes, calm down, calm down, Bravo, Shovel Knight, and Yacht Club Games, the developer. You truly made a gem here, pun intended, with the game, since there are gems that you dig up with your shovel sword. Is that proper, shovel sword? I think so. But let's not waste any time, let's move right on in to the next award, which is for Best 8th Gen Console of the Year. Best 8th Gen Console of the Year. And the winner is... The PlayStation 4, and this is strictly due to hardware sales. Now it's time for one of the more popular awards, Best Developer of the Year. Best Developer of the Year. And the winner is... Nintendo! Yes, congratulations to Nintendo. They proved that even though this year was not a perfect gaming year, at least they put out AAA high-quality games that weren't broken, like Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, Super Smash Bros., Wii U, Captain Toad, and Bayonetta. Now, unfortunately, let's move on to our next award, which is our first not-so-good award for Worst Developer of the Year. Worst Developer of the Year. And the winner is... Ubifail. Oh, I, I mean Ubisoft. <laughs> yes, it's no surprise that Ubisoft wins Worst Developer of the Year. All we have to do is look at the past, most recently Assassin's Creed Unity. But before we can move on to our next award, I'm told that we have a representative from Ubisoft here who would like to say something for receiving this award. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Sorry about that, everyone. I do apologize for his lack of professionalism. We had to remove him from the stage via security. So without further ado, let's get back on track with our show, because we don't want it to go off the rails. Here's our next award for Best Soundtrack. Best Soundtrack of the Year. And the winner is... Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and more specifically, 
David Wise, who did the music for the game. And now, unfortunately, it's once again time for one of those horrible awards, because now it's Worst Game of the Year. Worst Game of the Year. And the winner is... Oh my, I did not see this coming. We have a three-way tie between Destiny, Halo, the Master Chief Collection, and Assassin's Creed Unity. I guess we're going to have to give out three crap awards for three different games, since they are all equally worst game of the year. <laughs> Alright, looks like we've got another bad award coming up here, because now it's time for Biggest Disappointing Game of the Year. Biggest Disappointing Game of the Year. And the winner is... Destiny. Of course it had to have been Destiny, one of the games that just absolutely failed to meet the hype across the board. Although a close runner-up, was Watch Dogs. <laughs> and now it's time for the next award, which is Biggest Surprise Game of the Year. This award goes to the game that we just didn't know what to expect. Would it be good? Would it be bad? And it turned out to be good. Biggest Surprising Game of the Year. And the winner is... <laughs> Bayonetta 2, again. Man, Platinum Game sure is not wasting any time raking up those trophies. But let's not waste any time and get right on in to our next award for Best Fighting Game. Best Fighting Game of the Year. And the winner is... Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U, of course. Well, that sure was no surprise, but let's keep the ball rolling, shall we, and move right on in from Best Fighting Game to Best Racing Game. Best Racing Game of the Year. And the winner is... Mario Kart 8! <laughs> Alright, now it's time to give an award to the handheld division for the best handheld game of the year. Best handheld game of the year. And the winner is... Kirby Triple Deluxe. <laughs> Alright, now it's time for something a little bit different. Not a game, but Best Voice Actor of the Year. Best Voice Actor of the Year. And the winner is... <laughs> Melissa Hutchison. The voice of Clementine from Telltale's The Walking Dead. Congratulations, Melissa. You truly deserve it, because Clementine truly is one of the best characters, mainly because of her voice, that just deserves to win this award. So let's move on, of course, to the next award, Best Character of the year. Best character of the year. And the winner is... <laughs> Captain Toad. <laughs> now that one you should have seen coming. Can you believe it though? We are down to our last three awards. Of course, the first two are once again not good awards. Up next is Biggest Mistake of the Year.
biggest mistake of the year. And the winner is... Wolf O'Donnell being cut from Super Smash Brothers. Boo! Now, now, calm down, calm down. I know everyone is furious over the decision to remove Wolf O'Donnell from Smash Bros, and we still don't have a valid reason as to why he was. But let's keep this award show on track and continue on to our second last award, which is for the biggest traitor of the year. Biggest traitor of the year. And the winner is... <laughs> Nexus Games for the betrayal of Ucraft. Ooh, sounds like the crowd is still a little upset with that. But anyway, it is now time for the moment of truth. The moment we've been waiting for this whole entire show. It's time for the final award for Game of the Year. Game of the Year. And the winner is... Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker. That's right, everyone. Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker, wins Game of the Year. For me personally, remember. And with that, that is going to do it for the OBA Gaming Awards for 2014. Remember, I'm your host, John. It's been a blast. And will we do this again next year? Eh, I don't know. But either way, this was fun. And as always, we'll see you later for more videos coming soon, as always.